All right, this is my Bridgeport uh, motor repair. My old motor was a uh, three-phase uh, single horsepower J-head motor that was a special frame. And uh, they don't make them, they don't service them. At least I couldn't find anybody that could. And uh, it was gonna cost me $1,200 to get that one repaired. So after a while of thinking about it, I found these treadmill motors, uh, which I kind of scavenged one out of a treadmill and uh, did a lot of work and made it fit up and machined up my pulleys and made them fit the shaft. That's the original Bridgeport uh, pulley. It's been modified. Uh, I have a 3 8 thick steel plate on top that I use to mount the motor. Uh, all the wiring and everything's been redone. I've got my arm coming off here for my control box. And my control box is an old ammo can um, that I put all my switches and everything in. Down below, I have uh, an AC computer fan, blows, motor up, uh, blows air up through. I have my original potentiometer from the treadmill. I have my reversing switch from uh, the original mill. I put an Edison fuse in here. I just I have a 15 amp fuse, but I want to put a circuit breaker in, but uh, I don't have it yet. Regular switch. Uh, when you turn the switch on, the indicator light comes on, and I also have an amp meter so I can see my amp draw. My motor will will uh, use up to 17 amps, so I wanted to be able to regulate that and see uh, where I was at. Anyhow, the inside of this is pretty busy. All the treadmill controls are in there. Uh, it's a DC motor, so uh, it's got a converter in there. Um, it's a two horsepower DC motor. And I think it runs up to something like 5,000 RPM, which I'll never run it that fast. The original motor was a single horsepower, so hopefully it'll all work. It also plugs into a 20 amp outlet, which I have here. So it'll be nice for home use. Yeah, just to demonstrate it. I haven't used it, I haven't cut anything with it. So I flip that switch on, it'll start drawing air up through the fan. Uh, my vents are right here to blow the air out, the hot air out. And uh, that's really about it. Turn it on, got my potentiometer here. And I can adjust the speed with my potentiometer. You can see my amps. I'm running the uh, I'm running the motor way faster than what it should be. It'll probably end up being right around that speed right there. And then reverse. I'm gonna hold the quill and see, or hold the spindle and see if I can get an amp movement. Ugh, not really. It'll be interesting to see when I'm actually cutting with it to see uh, what the amps do and see if the thing's got enough power to do it. Uh, but uh, so far so good. I think it's pretty cool and it should, uh, I don't know, hopefully it'll work. I'm gonna put a small piece of cork, I think, between here because I've got a little vibration in this plate, this is just 3 8 thick mild seal that was burnt out by hand uh, with a torch, so it's probably not flat. So I think if I put a piece of cork in here, that'll help some of the vibration. But uh, anyhow, that's it.